The family of a man hit and killed by a tow truck driver wants criminal charges to be filed. The crash happened at Beach Nut just off of Hillcroft last night. The man's nephew was an eyewitness to this. And ABC 13's Maya Shea spoke to that devastated family and to neighbors. She joins us live from the scene, Maya. Yeah, the man in question, Dave Hudley, has been a resident here in this neighborhood for more than 30 years. So everyone around here knew him and they knew he's always on his bicycle. They are devastated. That's how he died. Around 9 p.m. last night, this tow truck crashed into 67-year-old David Huntley, who was crossing the street on his bicycle. Chelsea Cortez heard it all. It sounded very loud. It was very fast. You could hear a screeching, and um, I thought he had hit the light pole right there. Cortez's doorbell camera caught this video. You can see Huntley's nephew running towards his uncle, trying to save him. I was with him across the road. And uh, he went by the time, the time he stopped at halfway in the middle, he going across. It was clear the record truck just hit him, drove him down the road. But it would be too late. Hudley died at the scene. A fixture in the neighborhood for 30 years, he took care of his nephew for 20 years and always had a smile. He's survived. A lot of um, different things in his life, but he's always very good to everybody and helped everybody. Houston police say an initial investigation shows that the tow truck driver may have been speeding. An assertion the tow truck company's owner disputed on the phone with ABC 13. The driver was questioned, but so far no charges have been filed. Relatives say they can't believe it. It's horrible. These record drivers have no business going through the road 80 to 90 miles an hour. And that's what happened. Houston police say an investigation is ongoing and it's simply too early to know the exact cause. For now, neighbors say they're just trying to grapple with the fact that a friend who simply was riding his bike across the street is now gone forever. In Houston, Maya Shea, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.